How's it going everyone? I am Walton the Film Hermit and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the final Daniel Craig James Bond film, No Time to Die. And I had, getting a little bit of a glare in there because the plastic is still on there. And we just take a good shot of it. And I had some trouble getting this still book. So I pre-ordered it from um, Best Buy's website because it's James Bond. I'm a big James Bond fan, always have been. And I got a notice on my phone that it was delivered. And then two hours later, I come home from work and it's not on my doorstep. Now I've had this happen with Best Buy packages before, but I was like, it's out there for two hours and someone took it. So then I had to call uh, Best Buy and be like, yeah, your package is gone. Uh, I need another one. And then they're telling me, he goes, well, you need to refund it or we can send you another one. I go, just send me another one. And then you sit there and they go through this long process and they're like, okay, well, it's not available anymore. And I'm like, I'm on your website and it's available. And they're like, yeah, well, we'll try the US website. And they're like, it's not available. I'm like, I'm in the US, it's available. So why don't you just refund it? And then I'll just order it again. Like, okay, we'll refund it. And I'm sorry it wasn't available. And I'm like, I've already ordered it again, thank you. Just such a pain. But I'm glad I got it because I wanted to add it to my collection because I have all of the Daniel Craig um, movies on Steelbook. Now these aren't 4K Steelbooks, these are Blu-ray Steelbooks, but I'm thinking about maybe integrating the 4K discs in here, but I really don't need to because I have that. I'm gonna put an image right here, the 4K box set. Uh, and I like the image of Daniel Craig on this box set too, but it has the Blu-rays and the 4Ks in there. But I do have these steel books. Now these steel books, these were, the theme of these steel books were the, the title sequences in the beginning. So they're all images from the title sequences. So this is the first Daniel Craig one, Casino Royale. And the second one that he did was Quantum of Solace, and that's one of the shots from the title sequence from that film. And I'm not gonna do an unboxing of these because there's no in inner artwork. I think it just says 007 in them and that's it. And then Skyfall. Now, what they did was with these still, but they didn't do all the Bond films. They only did the Bond films that were the Daniel Craig ones because Spectre was the film that was coming out that year. I believe it was 2015. This one is really cool because it's embossed. It's got like the glass gunshot here. So you can actually feel that there. But this one had Spectre in it. So they only did movies that were related to Spectre. So they did pretty much the majority of the Sean Connery's except for Dr. No, which is dumb because they mentioned Spectre and Dr. No too, but there's only one line. And then they didn't do Goldfinger, uh, which is odd because that's like the best Sean Connery one. And they, um, they only did one Roger Moore for your eyes only. They didn't do any of the Timothy Daltons and they didn't do any of the Pierce Brosnan. So I was really hoping that when this movie came out on Steelbook that they would just do the other films that we can have them on steel, but that didn't happen. So I'm really excited to be able to unbox this. So let's go ahead and get a closer shot. Okay, so let's open this baby up. So like I normally like to do is find a corner where I can cut without damaging the steel book. Um, let's see, can I cut here? We're gonna do this corner right here. So let's carefully just take this and cut the plastic only and avoid the paint. Okay, I think I got it. That's good enough. I'm not gonna risk it with this one. Okay, and then let's take a quick look at the J card. J card, is, of course, has a uh, Bond is back with a vengeance, and it's got pictures of all the characters here. And let's see here, and let's see. Let's go ahead and move on. I really, really, really love this artwork. You got the Astro Martin on here. You got the bullets flying out of the car, the bullet shells, you got you got Daniel Craig in the car. That's, of course, I think this is probably the best James Bond still book in the collection. Um, they didn't do a, a Skyfall one when the film first came out until that series came out that had the whole theme of the title sequences. So that's the front of the steel book there. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it without the reflection of the light. I'm gonna move it up a little bit like that. That's good. Yeah, that's a really nice shot there. It looks like I have a small dent in here. You can barely see it though. 
but I mean, if I get a steel book from Best Buy without serious damage, I'm happy. Let's take a look at the spine. No time to die. MGM 007. Doesn't say 4K or Blu-ray, that's fine. And you got the 007 on the back. So let me go ahead and take this digital copy out of here. So I'm gonna have to share that with the world. And let's open it up. So we open it up, we have 007 across the back and the front. Looks like there is some little bit of damage here on the white portion of it. Um, some imperfections in the paint, maybe like a stain. Um, honestly, this has been really disappointing when it comes to steelbooks. I mean, you pay the premium price and it just seems like the, the studios and the, the retailers can't do a better job of making sure that we get you know, quality stuff. And these are, as of now, sold out on Best Buy's website. So let's take a look here. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I've heard that this transfer, actually, I think I haven't said it yet, but I'm gonna say it right now. This transfer apparently is very, very amazing. It looks and sounds fantastic. It's got Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. And that's gonna be the 4K disc. And it looks like you get a standard Blu-ray disc out of there and you've got an image of Daniel Craig and Lashana Lynch let's take a quick look here let me try to nope that's gonna put more light on it so I'm gonna raise it up a little bit so you can see the bottom of it without the light but move it down so you can see um, more of the image of the two of them together love this internal artwork internal artwork definitely the better than all the other ones because they have no internal artwork and I said I wasn't going to do an unboxing of these, but I'm going to do it right now, quickly. Because I think Spectre did have internal artwork because this one came out when the movie came out. Nope, they didn't. They didn't have anything in here. And I, I took the disc out of here because I don't remember what I did with this disc, but I put, I put it someplace. But all the discs are together in my... 4K edition, which a lot of you moved into here. But this is the first one that's actually had internal artwork that's been in here in the US anyway. So I think that looks amazing. So I'm really, really happy with that edition. Okay, so that's my quick unboxing of No Time to Die. Um, I really like this film at the theater. Um, I've heard that this transfer is absolutely amazing and flawless. Uh, it was a little sad knowing that this was the last time we were going to see Daniel Craig playing the role, but I really had a good time with the movie and I hope you guys did too. If you guys can uh, put your opinions of the movie uh, below, uh, comments are greatly uh, needed on my channel. And uh, like the video if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a great night.